In this question, we have to use the model from part A to predict the value of y when x is 18. In question part A, we found the value of a and the value of b, and based on this, we can write a regression line as y equals 0.433x plus 4.50. All we have to do now is to substitute 18 for x, which gives us that y is equal to 0 0.433 times 18 plus 4.50. Let's carry out this calculation. Entering 0 0.433 times 18 plus 4.5 and pressing enter gives us 12.294. Keep in mind that we have to round our answer to three significant figures. The first three significant figures are 1, 2 and 2, and the fourth significant figure is 9, which is more than 5, so we round the second two up to 3 and get that y is equal to 12.3. My exam taking tip here is related to the idea of follow through marks. The tip is that on longer questions you often have to use results from previous question parts. If you are unable to solve a question part but you need the result on the following question parts, try to make up an answer that makes sense in the context of the question. Imagine that you were not able to find a and b in question part a. To solve question part b, you need the value of a and the value of b. What you can do to earn at least one of the two marks on question part b is to make up a number for the value of a and another number for the value of b. Write these made-up values down as your answer to question part a. Then when you are solving question part b, use these made-up values in your solution. Of course, your final answer for y won't be correct, but you will still earn at least one method mark, and if the y value that you get makes sense in the context of the question, so it is, let's say, somewhere between 10 and 15, you might even get the second mark.